Hey guys, today we'll be showcasing you the top 10 World War I fighter planes which most of us have not seen yet on the internet. The First World War was fought on the Western Front in which neither British nor German forces could gain more ground or force the other to retreat. Instead of moving around to fight large formal battles, each army stayed in trenches that marked the edges of their territory and attempted to wear the other side down with constant small attacks and occasional offensives. In 1914, when the First World War broke out, aviation was just beginning. During the war years, the role played by aircraft would change a lot. At first, aircrafts were mainly used by the British military for reconnaissance, but later new technological advances allowed pilots to drop bombs and shoot down enemy aircraft. So without further delay, let's get right into it. At number 10 is Newport 11. The Newport 11 was a French World War single-seat sesquiplane fighter aircraft. The type saw service with several of France's allies and gave rise to the series of Newport fighters that remained in service into the 1920s. Like many World War aircraft, the Newport 11 saw use by many different countries. Armament was not state-of-the-art even for World War I standards due to the lack of an interrupted gear. The single machine gun mounted above the upper wing fired above the propeller arc. Its mount allowed it to be tipped back so the pilot could change the circular ammunition drum. At number 9 is Albatross D-5. The Albatross D-5 was a fighter aircraft built by the German Air Force during World War I. The D-5 was the final development of the Albatross D-1 family and the last Albatross fighter to see operational service. Despite its well-known shortcomings in general obsolescence, approximately 2,500 D-5 aircrafts were built before production halted in April 1918. Its armament was a double LMG machine guns fitted in front. She was fitted with a Mercedes piston engine developing 200 horsepower and a top speed of about 186 km per hour. At number 8 is Sopwith Pub. The Sopwith Pub was a British single-seat biplane fighter aircraft built by the Sopwith Aviation Company. With pleasant flying characteristics and good maneuverability, the aircraft proved very successful. The pub was eventually outclassed by newer German fighter, but it was not completely replaced on the Western Front until the end of 1917. The pub's docile flying characteristics also made it ideal for use in aircraft carrier deck landing and takeoff experiments. It is fitted with a Vickers machine fired forward through the propeller. Equipped with 80 horsepower engine, Sopwith pub could attain a maximum speed of 180 km per hour. Up next is Sopwith Camel. The Sopwith Camel was a successor to the Sopwith Pub and became one of the best-known fighter aircraft of the Great War. The Camel was powered by a single rotary engine and was armed with twin synchronized Vickers machine gun. Though difficult to handle, it was highly maneuverable in the hands of an experienced pilot, a vital attribute in the relatively low-speed, low-altitude dogfights of the era. In total, Camel pilots have been credited with downing 1,294 enemy aircraft more than any other Allied fighter of the conflict. Unlike Pup, the Camel had a stronger engine that could fly a maximum speed of 182 km per hour. At number 6 is Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5. The SE-5 was a biplane fighter aircraft and was one of the fastest aircraft during World War I. In most respects, the SE-5 had superior performance to the rival Sopwith Camel, although it was less immediately responsive to the controls. The SE-5 saw service with many countries from different continents. Its length was about 6.38 meters and a weight of about 640 kilograms. The aircraft had a single Vickers machine gun. Unlike most World War I aircraft, the SE-5 could carry four Cooper bombs of 11 kilograms each, two under each lower wing. Its power plant was V8 engine that could develop 150 horsepower and a maximum speed of 222 km per hour. At number 5 is Spot 7. The Spot S7 was the first of a series of highly successful biplane fighter aircraft during the First World War. Like its successor, the S7 was renowned as a sturdy and rugged aircraft with good climbing and diving characteristics. It was also a stable gun platform, all the pilots used to the more maneuverable Newport fighters found it heavy on the controls. It was flown by a number of the famous aces. It had served with more than 25 countries during the war. 
Like most World War I planes, it was equipped with a Vickers machine gun. With V-8 engine developing 150 horsepower, Spot 7 could fly a range up to 400 kilometers and a maximum speed of 193 kilometers per hour. At number 4 is Fokker DR-1. The Fokker DR-1 was arguably the most famous plane of World War I. This was probably because it was associated with the Red Baron. The airframe was made out of steel tubing that was covered in aircraft-doped canvas. When it was empty, it weighed 406 kilograms. It had a 110 horsepower engine and could fly a maximum speed of 180 kilometers per hour for a maximum time of 1 hour and 30 minutes at a maximum altitude of 14,000 feet. Like most planes in World War I, the Fokker DR-1 had a rotary engine with the propeller bolted directly onto the engine so that the engine and propeller rotated together. At number 3 is Fokker D-7. The Fokker D-7, a German World War I fighter aircraft designed by Reinhold Platz. Germany produced around 3,300 D-7 aircraft in the second half of 1918. In service with the Luftstrike craft, the D-7 quickly proved itself to be a formidable aircraft. The earliest production D-7s were equipped with 170 to 180 horsepower Mercedes and production quickly switched to the intended standard engine, the higher compression 180 to 200 horsepower. The range of this aircraft was up to 266 km and a maximum speed of 189 km per hour. Up next is Airco DH-4. The Airco DH-4 was a British two-seat biplane, the first British two-seat light-day bomber to have an effective defensive armament. The DH-4 was intended to perform both aerial reconnaissance and day bomber missions. One of the earlier aims of the design was it to be powered by a newly developed engine and it was tried with several different engines, perhaps the best of which was the 375 horsepower Rolls-Royce Eagle engine. Armament and ordnance of the aircraft consisted of one Vickers machine gun for the pilot and one Lewis gun mounting for the observer. In addition, either a pair of 100kg bombs or a maximum payload of 4 or 50kg bombs could be carried. At number 1 is Spot 13. The Spot S-13 was a further development of the successful Spot S-7 design, the latter eventually becoming outclassed by the newer and better German aircraft designs of World War I. The S-13 would prove a success for SPAD, adding yet another fine fighter aircraft to its resume and a formidable platform to the conflict. The S-13 featured an increased wingspan, more powerful engines and dual machine gun systems, along with more subtle changes in design over the S-7. In the end, over 8,400 examples would roll off the assembly lines. One of the main differences between Spot 7 and Spot 13 was that it could carry four bombs of a total of about 50 kilograms. And that's it guys for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you for viewing and bye-bye.